Hi there, Jojo and Roses. Welcome back to the YouTube. We're back here again with another video. Today, we are going to be ranking the most ridiculous school rules, all the way from fair, all the way up to the stupidest school rules. Now, these are all real school rules that I have found on the internet. And honestly, some of these school rules are absolutely mind-blowing. I'm so glad my school didn't have these rules. So... We're just gonna get straight into it. So I'm going to be ranking these school rules based entirely on my opinion. I've been to about four or five different schools, so I feel like my opinion counts. I've been a student long enough to know what's fair and what isn't fair. First one, no fist bumps. Prevent students from accidentally punching each other in the face. I mean, you've gotta be pretty stupid to hit your friend in the face with a fist bump, haven't you? Imagine them actually enforcing that rule, like them letting everybody know in assembly. From now on, there shall be no more fist bumps. <laughs> nobody, nobody would listen. I'm gonna put that, because I do think that is really stupid. I don't know if it's the stupidest, but I'm gonna put that in crazy. It's going straight into the crazy pile. Shoes optional. Kids can opt to wear shoes to school or not. <laughs> I've never once thought while I was in school, you know what, I really wanna take these off. Why? That just seems a bit silly. Oil your hair. A student's hair has to be greasy enough to avoid getting punched by prefects. That cannot be real, but apparently it is because I found it on the internet, so it must be real. <laughs> a student's hair has to be greasy enough. What? To, what? to avoid being punched by gre prefects? I'm just going to put that in stupid pile. Axe deodorant bans. Students tend to overspray them, causing allergic reactions to other pupils. To be fair, I do remember going into like the boys' change rooms after PE. Or gym class, for those Americans that are watching. It will be like a concentration camp. <laughs> That's a dark... As a dark joke. It would be so full of just fumes. It would just, it would be horrible. It would be one kid in the corner. <laughs> I'm asthmatic. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to put that in fair enough. I don't think many of them are going to go in the fair pile, but that one is. They'd be like spraying like two of them and they'd just be going. It makes me smell better. By the way, guys, make sure you watch to the end of this video because I have saved the worst rule till last and you're not going to believe it. It is so stupid. Ketchup not allowed. The schools claim it contains very high sugar content. Okay. Uh, that's bloody stupid. Required naps. They help children feel fresh during afternoon classes. Okay, when are you going to fit in these required naps? Some schools actually allowed required naps. What? That's so cool. Fair enough. Chucking it in the fair pile. No high fives and hugs. Some schools believe it interferes with the student's academic experience. Ah! Ah! <laughs> no high fives and hugs. There's no way. That is going straight in the stupidest pile. How can you how can you ban that? And who's gonna enforce that? How in any way does me high fiving my friend stop me learning? That's <laughs> so stupid. Looks don't matter. Shaving legs and wearing makeup is considered a distraction. Yeah, that is stupid. That's going straight in the stupid pile. No red pens. Red is deemed negative and green is preferred for grading tests. It's just a colour. Will these teachers give us a break? Red is deemed negative. If it's a red tick next to all my answers telling me I got it right, then I don't give a what colour it's in. That is going to go in crazy. No raising hands. It gives every student a chance to participate in class equally. So you can't put your hand up to ask a question. So you're just meant to call out. Because that is literally what teachers don't want you to do. <laughs> it's so stupid. Well, I've said it there, haven't I? It's stupid. Winning not allowed to stop anyone's feelings from being hurt. So what, a sports day, you're all just meant to draw. Everyone's a winner. No, that is the stupidest thing that I have ever heard. <laughs> it's going in the stupidest. No bake sales. The Massachusetts school wants to curb childhood obesity. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, yeah, that mean, and that would probably help. Stopping the bake sales. <laughs> the kids aren't going to eat cakes all day. I'm going to put that in silly. <laughs> I don't really know. Punctuality is a must. It's considered very rude to be late for anything in Japanese culture. So basically, you get in a lot of trouble if you're late to lesson. Okay, that's going to go in... That's going to go in fair. No school likes it if you're late to class, do they? Every school in the world, I'm pretty sure you'd get told off if you were like 15 minutes late to lesson. No cough drops. Some principals consider them to be drugs. <laughs> what? What if you've got a really bad chest infection and you're not allowed to go home because they won't let you go home because the nurses are bitches 
my school nurse was anyway. What well, if you're actually coughing, you're dying, and you just need it to help you get through the day? That's going in crazy. Cleaning duties. To learn responsibilities, students clean their classrooms and washrooms. They have, <laughs> they have to clean up the toilet. Oh my god, you just you just wouldn't get the kids doing that. You wouldn't have caught the kids doing that in my school. There's absolutely no way. Especially after they've just rubbed their own shits on the walls. I mean, it takes the responsibility off of the cleaners, but f*** it. Oh, that would have been the worst job. There's cleaning toilets, and then there's cleaning school toilets. That is going in crazy. <laughs> oh my god. No dodgeball. The New Hampshire school banned all human target sports. Why not? What well, if I want to throw a ball right at the... <laughs> right at the idiot's face. <laughs> dodgeball is great, so that is going crazy. Who agrees? Let me know in the comments. Do you like dodgeball or do you hate it? For me, I absolutely loved it. I think it's the funniest sport. I think it should be in the Olympics. Cartwheels banned. Students can perform cartwheels only under the supervision of a gym teacher. Oh yeah, like you're going to be able to stop them. They're going to be doing it all day long. Cartwheels banned. That is going in stupid. Too much luck. Students are not allowed to wear more than one good luck bracelet. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that is a rule in Japan. If you're wearing a good luck bracelet, then you're not allowed to wear any more because it's considered cheating in a test because they believe in it so much. That is going to go in stupid. It's going in stupid because maybe good luck bracelets work. I don't know. School parade. Students must carry their hymn books to all school assemblies. I suppose it's just so they remember the hymns and they can read it as they go. I think that's fair enough. That's not too bad. That is not the worst one I've heard. No Christmas celebrations. Some schools ban all religious holidays to avoid offending other students. Oh my god. Really? They don't celebrate Christmas in a school because they're worried they're going to offend the students that don't celebrate Christmas. But by not doing it, you're offending all the students that do. So that's going in the stupidest pile. I think that is ridiculous. That is ridiculous. No gossip. Parents are discouraged from car park gossip. Oh yeah, like you're going to be able to stop parents from talking to each other. That's going in crazy. Detention on weekends. Oh god, no! <laughs> Repeated misconduct might lead to detention on Saturdays. Absolutely f*** that. No, thank you. Don't forget the teachers aren't at school 24-7. They have their own lives. That means the teacher has to come in on a Saturday just to sit there. I mean, that's worse for the teacher, surely. That's going in crazy. That's ridiculous. No thumbs up is considered an insult in their culture. I believe that's Bangladesh. If you're ever in Bangladesh and you go, they will probably just shoot you. <laughs> oh, right, okay, that is gonna go. That is, that's stupid. It's, going, it's, it's, it's stupid, I think it's stupid. It's going in the stupid pile. You're going in the stupid pile. No curly hair. Girls with naturally curly hair are forced to straighten it. I mean, that's crazy. Boy, I can't think of a reason for that. Why would you need to do that? What's wrong with curly hair? Limited toilet breaks. The Chicago school allows only three bathroom breaks during class each semester. What? Three a semester. So I think a semester is like a term in the UK. So that's like one a month. <laughs> You're allowed to go to the toilet once a month in school. It's going... It's going in the crazy. It's going in the crazy pile. <laughs> that is so stupid. No, you know what? It's so stupid. It's going in the stupidest pile. <laughs> that's, that's how I feel about it. Sensitive words banned. Sensitive words banned. Words like poverty and divorce might bring up painful memories to different kids. Oh, grow up. <laughs> Honestly, it really feels like today's society, we're just going to raise the biggest snowflakes ever. If someone's parents have divorced, don't take the piss out of them for it. If you're allowed to use the word, that's going in the crazy part. <laughs> that's so stupid. He, him, girls. All masculine pronouns apply to girls as well. Why? Is that the same for for guys? So, what what's happened to like feminine pronouns? <laughs> Can guys be referred to under a fe female pronoun? I don't get it. I don't get it. That's going in the stupidest pile. Crowds banned. Don't forget to wait to the end of the video, guys, because the last rule is coming up, and it's so stupid. This school believes only mischief can happen in student groups of five or greater. So you're not allowed to stand in groups of five or more. What if you've got loads of friends? Or what if you've got no friends? Then I guess you're right, aren't you? <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. There's so many of these that are just... So stupid, in my view. Let me know what you think, guys. Have I got this right so far? Do you think some of these are fair enough, or do you think they all just should be in the stupidest pile? No exposed shoulders. Bare shoulders can cause other students to lose focus in class. Oh, what if you're part of Henry's family? <laughs> shoulders! It's going in the stupidest. It's going 
ladies and gentlemen, in the stupidest pile. No best friends. Oh my god, why aren't you allowed a- why- why- why wouldn't you possibly be allowed a best friend? To prevent the trauma of having breakups with close friends. So they're so worried about them, like, being best friends and then them not being best friends that they're forgetting about the part in between where they're, like, really happy. F schools what is your problem that's going in the stupidest pile you can't not have a best friend i mean like like you'll be able to stop kids having their best friends anyway same sex classrooms girls and boys use separate classrooms oh my god i mean the only lesson i get that for is sex education i suppose it's not that weird because you can have all boys schools and all girls schools but yeah i don't know that one just seems Stupid. That would seem stupid. Off to the stupid pile. Gender sensitive names. Nebraska teachers address students using gender neutral names like purple penguins. <laughs> Come here, green worm. So instead of calling them by their actual names, <laughs> call them an animal and a color. No. Stupidest. Stupidest pile. No toilet breaks. Some boarding schools don't allow loo visits during the night. So if you're in a boarding school and you need the toilet because you're staying the night over in the school, which first of all sounds horrible, by the way. On top of that, you're not allowed to go to the toilet. So what? You just got to piss the bed, have you? Stupidest pile. Stupid, stupid, stupid. No boy slash girl mingling. Girls and boys are separated by a curtain wall in a classroom? Why? I mean, what's the point of having them in the same classroom but just separating them with a curtain? <laughs> when you finally leave school when you're 18 or 16 or whatever, and you see a girl for the first time, you're gonna be like, what the f is that? You're just not gonna know how to talk to them. No orange uniforms. Why not? You gingerphobic. Orange is a color associated with funerals. Is it? No, it's not. It's associated with Halloween, isn't it? Pretty sure black is associated with funerals. It's going in stupid. Pepsi t-shirt ban. A student got suspended for wearing a Pepsi t-shirt at his school's Coca-Cola day. That's crazy. That is absolutely crazy. First of all, why is there a Coca-Cola day in school? And why has he been punished for wearing a Pepsi shirt? I suppose it's not Coca-Cola, but I'm I'm just, I, to be honest, I'm losing brain cells even talking about it. No substitute teachers. In case a teacher is absent, the class is cancelled and students are free. Oh my God, that sounds absolutely amazing. That is fair enough. That is going in the fair pile. <laughs> There's not many in the fair pile. There's not many in the silly pile. <clears throat> okay, guys. Drum roll. We have made it to the last rule. Are you ready for this? Relationships banned to enable students to concentrate on their education. This is stupid for so many reasons. Outside of school, who's talking to who? You're not going to be able to stop the kids. So, like, why? You're just making it harder work for the teachers. Second of all, how does that affect their education? If it's a good relationship, they could help each other with their work. <laughs> Probably not gonna happen, but you never know, it might do. That, for me, is going in the stupidest pile. Phone drop. Oh, I don't know why I did that. <laughs> oh my God, these rules. These rules. So stupid. By the way, guys, just to let you know, I got all of these school rules from uh, Tally's video. So if you want to check out their interpretation of where they've ranked them, go check it out. These school rules, guys, honestly, let me know if you agree with how I've put these. Do you think I've got them more or less right? Because I feel like all these fair ones, I just feel like I partly agree with. And it's like, fair enough, they're not that bad. The silly ones, I don't know. But the stupidest ones, these are just so stupid. They're, they're just ridiculous. No toilet breaks. What if I need a shit? Do you think about that? Huh, teacher? Oh, we're going to end it there, guys. Hope you enjoy watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Take it easy. And I will see you in the next video. And I love you. I love you. Oi! Subscribe! Oh, God, please subscribe. Subscribe. Uh, subscribe. Subscribe.